brother Francis Collins was one of the first ever commercial recording artists who cut his first records in 1898. He was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania on February 7, 1864 and developed a love for not only singing but also sailing which could be accredited to his father who was a seaman in the United States Navy. Before his recording career Arthur Collins would travel the country performing on stage as both a singer and actor taking nearly any performing job he could get but usually getting only small minor parts. Nonetheless Arthur Collins' first significant show business job was when he performed in the comic opera play called Wong at the Broadway Theater in New York City in the early 1890s. In 1895 Collins married Anna Leah Connolly who was born in Ireland and also dabbled in singing. Their first and only child was born in 1897 named Arthur Perry Collins who later served in World War I. As seen in this photo from a 1918 newspaper showing Arthur Collins bidding his son goodbye before going off to war. Shortly after his son's birth Arthur Collins decided to pursue a more stable career in bookkeeping. However this was short-lived due to the fact that a couple of talent scouts from the Thomas Edison National Phonograph Company had requested Collins to record some demo recordings and later hired him to record full-time. Hiring Arthur Collins proved to be a profitable bet for the recording industry because of the large success and popular demand consumers had to hear his baritone voice on record. Throughout Arthur Collins' 27-year run in the recording business from 1898 to 1925, he managed to record literally thousands of songs singing solo and with several duets and quartets producing many hits along the way. It's a big league ball game. Let's go out and holler with a fan. You're on now. Oh, oh. They're sliding baseball rags. See the pitcher throw and strike them out. You got them going. Oh, oh. They're sliding baseball rags. Come on in here. 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 In a newspaper interview in the 1910s, Arthur Collins was asked about his success in singing in the process of recording which was a new concept at that time. Arthur Collins was quoted with saying, There are not many people who make a success of it. Owning to the fact that it requires an iron throat, powerful lungs, and a peculiar singing voice. Then, care must be given to the most minute details and every word has to be pronounced distinctly. With every vowel and consonant accurately enunciated, naturally, the work which we do here is crude. In New York, we have an orchestra assisting and no record is sent out unless it is absolutely perfect. A mispronounced word or a blast throws the record out. Finally, in 1927, Arthur Collins and his wife retired to Fort Myers, Florida to live out the rest of their days next to the ocean, which Arthur Collins really enjoyed. Then, on August 2, 1933, Arthur Collins passed away from a heart attack at the age of 69, and he is remembered now as an early pioneer recording artist dubbed the king of the ragtime singers.